So in this video, I'm going to show you how I went from the default phone gap application icon to a custom icon. And it was easier than I thought. There was a couple of tools in an online system and I'm going to show you what I did. And it wasn't hard. You could do this. Okay, so the first thing I did is I read the official documentation on PhoneGap and it tells me that I could probably get away with having a single icon. All right. But I have to create the icon and there's sizes and everything else. So then I had to look around it. There must be a way of changing a .png into a set of icons. I did a quick web search and I found a bunch of systems and I saw this one. This is pgicons.abiro.com. I thought this looks quite good because it tells me what size to make and, and this is what really sold it to me, it has a config file and all I would have to do is use their system and copy paste this stuff into my phone gap application and in theory I should have an application with an image. That sounds good. So this site tells me I need something that is 1024 pixels square. Now I'm not a great artist. So what I've done is I went into paint.net, which you can get on getpaint.net if you want to. Now, when you're downloading paint.net on Windows, the download is a bit of a pain. You have to click the download over here, ignore all the download adverts, click on paint.net here, then pay attention because it's not this, it's this one. Download paint.net here, then free download over here and then it will download. It's a bit of a, a, a pain, but that's fine. So when you've, it's free, what we're gonna do, what we're not gonna complain. So here's paint.net. Now, all I did, this is pretty crude. I created a background layer, which just has that to give it a nice contrast. I, I didn't say I was making a good icon, right? I just said I was making an icon. This is an image that I've already created from my Evo tester. I use this on t-shirts and things, so I already had this, pasted it in. Then I went off and I thought I will use a megaphone because this is a sloganizer. I created a very crude line art thing here, then pasted this in at a new layer, filled it in, rotated it, voila. There's a big 1024 by 1024 image, saved that as a PNG. Uploaded the PNG in here, generate images and then it gives me a an archive to download so in my phone gap project i have an unversioned folder which i do not put into version control and here in generated i have the pg icons this is the uh, zip file that it generated i just downloaded that unarchived it into folder then copied this res folder to the top level of my project here it is here so I just copied the res folder. Then I went off to their website here, copy and pasted all of this in, but I'm only interested in the icons. So once I'd copied it in, I deleted all this splash stuff. I deleted all this splash stuff here, kept everything the same. So in my res folder, I also deleted the screens folder. If you have a look down here, PG icon res, the original one has a screens folder, a subfolder. I deleted that, so my res folder just has the icons. Then I have that. Let's have a look at the config. So here's the config file, directly copy and paste it in with no screen stuff. That was easy. Then I just packaged this up, zipped it up, uploaded it to build.phonegap.com, rebuilt the application, and then you can see that my app has this cool little icon, which is makes makes a difference, makes quite, makes a considerable difference on the install screen here. Where is it? There it is, over there in the corner, much easier to see. I don't think that's bad for about half an hour's work. The, the really useful system here was the uh, PG icons one, upload PNG, generate, save, unarchive, copy into project, that was easy, then you too can have your very own application icon for PhoneGap apps.